Last week, we were at the Canfield Fair food extravaganza, and this week, the Columbiana County Fair is hosting its own fair food event. That's where we find First News reporter Brooke Manahan, who's telling us what all we can find there. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Connor. If you didn't get your fair food last week, no worries. The Columbia County Fair is doing something a little bit similar this weekend. Now, the fair was canceled this year because of COVID-19, but still the way to get your fair food fix. I'm here with some of the board members, John and Michelle. What's going on here today? Good morning. Uh, we, we're going to open the midways up at 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, we've got about nine vendors, local, all Columbia County based vendors. Uh, we're going to move forward today. We had a great day yesterday. About about 500 cars came through. Uh, the vendors, I talked to them at the end of the night. It, everything was very positive. We had a good had a good show. Pretty nice turnout, and yeah. this has been happening all over the state. Fairs being canceled, mm -hmm. so people are setting up. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, the vendors just so they can, you know, get some business and things like that. What made you decide to do it? Uh, the fact that it was being done all over the place and we were concerned about uh, some of our vendors. This may be their first time out. A lot of their events were canceled. Uh, and again, the, we wanted to help the Columbia County based vendors to prosper a little bit. Right. And you said 500 cars yesterday, so that's a lot of traffic. What are some of the things people should know uh, when they're coming down? Uh, when they come in, they'll come in through the main gate. Uh, Follow the signs, drive around. It's a one way traffic. Uh, stay, in, stay to the right. A lot of the vendors will take cards. Uh, they'll come to, they have people come to your car to take your order. Uh, they're, they've moved almost flawlessly yesterday. We had a few backups mm -hmm. during some of the busy times, but it moved very well. All right, thanks so much, guys. Coming up in a little bit, we'll hear from some of the vendors. For now, reporting live in Lisbon, Brooke Meanahan, First News Sunday morning.